Hi, this is Karsten at Minnesota Measurement Instruments and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Nicety DT1311 K-type thermocouple thermometer and at the end of the video we are going to test it with the precision temperature block that you can see in the right of the image. Um, the meter comes in this little box and it has a black carrying case included and inside you will find the thermometer itself, a K-type thermocouple, four AAA batteries, and the manual, which we don't need right now. The first question I get is, how do I insert the batteries? Because initially, if you look, uh, there is no obvious place. And what you need to do is you need to pull off the orange bumper case that's for here for protection. The easiest way to do it is hold it in your left hand and hold the top very tightly and then pull at the bottom edge and the meter will come out of the bumper case. Pull it from the top and you have the meter. What you need next is a little screwdriver to open the battery compartment and then simply insert the batteries and the meter should make a little beeping noise. There it is, and we are all set with the batteries inserted. Put the meter back into the bumper case and you are ready to measure. It always starts up in degrees Celsius and you can switch to degree Fahrenheit very easily by just pressing the button. And it shows a one at the moment because we don't have any thermocouple connected. So whenever it shows the one, it means no thermocouple connected. If you look at the plug of the thermocouple, you will notice you have a narrow blade and a little bit wider blade. And you need to be very careful to insert it correctly at the top. They can be inserted the wrong way. And the smaller blade is the plus, the wider blade is the minus contact. Insert it and the measurement starts immediately. The great thing about this meter is that it is a full scale um, K-type thermometer. That means it can measure as low as minus 328 degree Fahrenheit and up to 2498 degree Fahrenheit. And that's the full range that a K-type thermo thermocouple can do. Um, yeah, let's now insert the thermocouple itself. This one here is a three foot wire thermocouple with a plastic insulation. The insulation is good for about 400 degree Fahrenheit and I'm going to insert the probe tip into the precision temperature reference and then it takes a few seconds until the uh, thermocouple has stabilized and the thermometer will show the temperature. And one important thing to know about thermocouples is uh, they are not high precision temperature uh, uh, sensors. They are only accurate to about plus and minus four degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So if you're not exactly on the value, um, that is to be expected. But let's see how close we will get with this. And also you should keep in mind that thermocouples age. So after a few years, especially if you're using them in a kiln or high temperature application, you should exchange them because they have aged and uh, changed and give not an accurate signal anymore. It seems to have stabilized and um, the temperature should be 212 degree Fahrenheit. It is at 211.3 here right now. So it's within one degree of the actual temperature and I think this is pretty good. If you have any questions, mail me. You can find my website, Meter Depot, where you can find additional thermocouples for the thermometer or 
can ask questions and find additional information. Thanks for watching.